Who's working on the weekend? We are attorneys Alexander and Catalano. Call right now if you need help. Oh yeah, thanks for the coffee. The heavy hitters are all you need. Call 1-800-LAW-1333. Brittany Jung is a normal, happy 17-year-old looking forward to graduating from Oswego High and pursuing a career in art. But 15 years ago, Brittany's future was in doubt. In 1996, when she was two years old, Brittany Jung was among several children I featured in a special report, Faces of Autism. It was difficult to watch as she went into a screaming fit that lasted 45 minutes, all the while her mother, Robin, was told to ignore her. Don't look at her. Turn around. I don't want you to make eye contact with her. Until recently, Brittany had no idea that she had been diagnosed with autism when she was so young. Her mother, Robin, told her about our special report the day before this interview. Okay, so you saw the video of, um, what went through your mind as you were watching that? I don't know, I couldn't believe I acted like that. I'd, I kind of remember thinking that though, that I didn't want to look at anyone or anyone to see me. Why after all these years did you decide to get in touch with me about this? Because I was very proud of her. I worked so hard for her to be where she is today. I'm proud of her, very proud of her. According to the Centers for Disease Control, in the United States, on average, one in every 110 children suffers from some form of autism spectrum disorders. Now, this is a group of developmental disabilities in which a child's brain processes information differently from others. ASDs can lead to some significant problems with communication, developmental, and behavioral skills. So most experts agree that the earlier a child receives treatment, the better. Our story in 1996 focused on the need for parents and therapists to constantly work with autistic children in an early intervention program so some could be better prepared for preschool. It took eight hours a day every day, Saturday, seven days a week, eight hours a day. Constantly working yeah. with her? Well, not constantly, two hours in intervals, you know, two hours here, play, have a good time, two hours again, and then the county come in or the nurse or the doctor or the teacher would come in, work with her for two hours, mm -hmm. and then I would finish up the day with her. I think I was lucky that she didn't give up or anything. Simply stated, it's a constant teaching. And Robin honest. Jung says Brittany responded so well to her early intervention that by the time she entered preschool, she was on a par with other children her age. And when Brittany entered kindergarten, Robin says she never told the school district that Brittany had been diagnosed as autistic. You tell the school, then the teachers will treat you different. You know, around the water, water cooler, hey, do you hear Brittany is autistic? Do you, do you know other kids that, that, have, that, have, that are autistic? Yeah, some kids in my school. Did you ever think that you could have been one of them? I you, think that a lot, yeah. What does that do to you? It's kind of scary, but just because of how the people treat them. And Brittany Jung is a success story about early intervention with autism. Not every child would respond to treatment the way she has. New at 6, we'll talk to the professionals who worked with her 15 years ago. Jim Kenyon reporting.